Hey, data lovers! It's Jeff here at iDeck. And it's time for a little I Love Data Fridays mini for December 7th. And in this mini, we're going to talk about a new handout uh, for teacher leaders to give to our administrators. And our handout is called Reading Recovery Works Best. So let's get into it. Let's talk about this new handout. So our new handout, Reading Recovery Works Best, is a handout for teacher leaders that they can use when talking with administrators. And this handout is designed to be a two-page easy read. It's not very dense. It doesn't have a lot of data, but it does have some data in it. And the document has been designed in a way that teacher leaders can be comfortable talking about the information in the document with administrators. So the document does contain data, but data are stated as easy to understand goals rather than presenting like a statistical tome of information for people to try to parse through. Uh, the document has a professional design to it, so it can be either printed off in color or emailed to somebody. And the document has links to relevant research and data to back up the claims in the document. So you can point these out to people when they look at it. Okay, so let's take a quick peek at our new uh, our new document here, our Reading Recovery Works Best document. So here we are. Here's a quick look at our Reading Recovery Works Best When document. Like I said, it's a two-page document. This is page one. This is page two. On page one, um, you'll actually probably recognize these uh, little goals here or things here from the I3 report itself. These are just uh, restating the things that we learned from the I3 grant. At the bottom of the page is a link to the research behind all of this that people can click on and go look at the I3 grant. If we move over to page two, we can see uh, three little sections here, one about protecting reading and recovery lesson time, another one about uh, principal and classroom support, and then a third section about serving children with urgency. Uh, with protecting lessons time, uh, we merely state that, you know, when teachers are being pulled away uh, from eight or more lessons with, with all of their students, that one student less will catch up to their peers. So we talk about being flexible with time and giving teachers every opportunity to work with their children. Um, with the classroom, principal and classroom support, we talk about how when there is this principal and classroom support for reading recovery, that reading recovery teachers can actually foster two months of additional literacy growth from their students, which uh, will allow one additional child to catch up to their peers, and it helps reduce unfinished interventions in the spring. Um, finally, we talk about serving children with a sense of urgency. So, uh, you know, we want to state that every child when they come into reading recovery in the fall has the opportunity and is entitled to receive 20 weeks of support, but it's certainly not a requirement and that, you know, we try to state that when a child shows that they have that independency, literacy, independent literacy system and they're ready to move on, it's okay to end that intervention and move on to the next eligible student. So we're talking about the scenario where we have teachers who are trying to hold on to kids for the full 20 weeks um, without really there being a need for the kids to get uh, the full 20 weeks. Um, so we try to show here that, um, you know, teachers in general, when teachers work with their discontinued students for 18 weeks or less, they're actually able to complete another intervention in the spring so they get more time for those interventions but we try to highlight that um, you know kids are entitled to that 20 weeks so I want you to notice that you know all of these uh, pieces of info all of these three sections are written with data in them uh, but they're really tried to be presented as goals rather than just putting them out into data tables and hoping people will will be able to digest um, what they mean you know we tell about uh, we give the data, but we tell what it means right here in an easy-to-read format. At the bottom, you'll notice there's another link down here, and this links you to a, a even longer video that goes over all of the data behind these claims and does show tables and charts. The video is almost, I think, about 20 or 30 minutes, so I've tried to make it as detailed as possible. So there you go, teacher leaders. Our first of hopefully a several... Uh, administrators handout for our teacher leaders here. Uh, this first one is reading recovery works best. And what I do want to say here, this document and what we were trying to stress is that reading recovery works 
in all schools. Um, even schools who aren't meeting all of these check marks, reading recovery works. It just works best when we're meeting all of these check marks that you get the most from reading recovery uh, when you're meeting all those check marks. So that's a, a thing that I also want to highlight. To download the document, all you need to do is go to our website at www.idecweb.us, click on Publications, and then you'll see it right at the top there under Administrator Handouts, Reading Recovery Works Best. So we'll say, hey, thanks for watching another I Love Data Fridays mini. This one about our new teacher leader uh, administrator handout, Reading Recovery Works Best. I hope you enjoy it. And hey, we'll talk data to you later.